Hello and welcome to my channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can install and run Python software in your Android using Xsecure Windows Emulator. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can install and run Python software in your Android using Xsecure Windows Emulator application. Python software is basically a programming software, uh, programming language software. Uh, many people use that software with many purposes. A lot of people don't have PC but they want to use the Python software and they want to learn how to use the Python software. So I am going to show how you can uh, use it and install it in Android using Xsecure Windows Emulator application. So first of all you have to download and install the Xsecure Windows Emulator application. The download link in the description. There are a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. You can check out my channel and I have shown how you and of make a separate tutorial video on how you can download and install the Xsecure Windows emulator in Android and second thing you have to download the Python uh, setup file the download in the description it will be approximately 13 MB and this is the Python uh, 3.1.4 version so now I am going to install it in the Xsecure so I am going to open the Xsecure application I am going to uh, containers I am going to click to run explorer So as you can see this is the Xsecure desktop and it's been in the landscape mode. So as you can see uh, in my previous video I've shown how you can change the wallpaper uh, of the Xsecure. So let me just show you. I've changed the wallpaper of the Xsecure so it will looking like this. The default uh, wallpaper of the Xsecure is very dark blue plain blue and this is the wallpaper of my Xsecure new wallpaper. And I've shown how you can change you can check out my previous video. So this is the desktop of the Xsecure Windows Emulator application and this is the file manager of the Xsecure. So this is the uh, file manager and this is the D drive. After downloading make sure the python software setup file uh, is in the download folder because Xsecure will going to open uh, the download folder as a D drive. So as you can see this is the D drive and now I can access all the downloaded file of my android internal storage. So this is the python setup uh, file I am going to long press on and just click to open. So this is the python 3.1.4 version. So this is the Python 3.1.4 version. It will uh, asking me to select the install for all users. Install for just for me. So I am selecting as the install for all users. Just click to next. So after clicking next, it will uh, uh, telling me the destination of the installation. Just click to next. So it will saying it will going to install all these uh, things in the uh, Python and you can uh, change the disk or you can advance and you can, if you know more about the software you can do all the things every single feature of the Python is perfectly working so let me just click to next so as you can see the Python software is installing here it's only going to some seconds to install so as you can see in the screen the Python software has installed and just click to finish so now the python software install here so now i am going to open the python software so just click on the start button just click to programs and as you can see uh, the option appear here is python 3.1 uh, now there are a lot of uh, uh, program with this python so this is the ideal python GUI. i am going to open it uh, so first first of all i am going to open the python command line so as you can see this is the python command line dot exe or uh, perfectly running over here if you want to type something just enable the keyboard and you can type anything just click to enter so as you can see the python is perfectly working and if you don't want to enable this keyboard because uh, the keyboard is taking half of the screen and it will not showing uh, all the uh, thing of the python so you can collect the uh, external keyboard with uh, through your otg in my previous video i've already shown in my old channel you can check out my own channel for that so this is the python command line i'm going to just close it and i'm going to open the command uh, python to open the python shell so this is the software i'm going to open at first it will going to take some time so this is first time i'm opening in my android so as you can see the python uh, shell is uh, open here 
so as you can see this is the python shell uh, open here now i'm going to I, I can tap anything and enter just as you can see the python software is perfectly working i don't know more about the software uh, but if you want to a tutorial video how to use it let me know in the comments i try to make a video uh, first i learn about the software then try to show you and make a tutorial video on my channel so as you can see this is the python software perfectly installed and perfectly working in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have a question problem let me know in the comments thank you